Hello friends, today we are going to do a search program on an array. We will accept elements of an array and then the item to be searched in that array. If the element is found in the array, it will display that the item is found. Otherwise, it will display the item is not found. Remember, the algorithm will stop when the first occurrence of the item is found. So if we have more than one item that is matching, we will stop at the first match. So let us see how we are going to approach this program. Scenario 1, searching an element in an array. If the match is found, how it will be done? Suppose, take this array, int error of 9, which will store 9 elements. Suppose 15, 24, 33, 15, 36, 42, 51, 33 and 64 are the 9 elements. And they are stored in specific index locations starting from 0 to 8. So, let us take the item that is to be searched. Suppose we want to search the item 33. So first we will check this 33 with the first element of the array which is 50. So when the index is 0, if I say ARR of 0 is equals to equals to 33. So we are checking whether the first element of the array is equals to 33 or not or equals to item or not. So we will check item actually. So it is not actually. So we will move to the next element of the array. Next element is in the index location 1. So if we compare 24 and 33, there is no match. So we'll move to the next element. Next element is in the index location 2. And this time, ARR of 2 is equals to equals to item. It is matching. So our algorithm terminates in this particular position. And we will display a message. The match is found. Now take the second case when the match is not found. The item to be searched is not available in the array. So let us check again. Same array is there. And now this time we are going to search the item 48 in this array. So 15 and 48 will be checked for equality. And they are not equal. So we will move to the next element at position 1 or index location 1. Now it is 24 is equals to equals to 48. It is not. Again we will move to the next element. The second index location 33 is not equals to 48 we'll move to the next element at index location 3 again 15 not equals to 48 or actually 15 equals to equals to 48 is false so it is not matching we'll move to the next element the element at index location 4 is 36 36 is not equals to 48 there is no match we'll move to the next element uh, so the value in index location 5 of the array is 42 which is not equals to 48 so 42 equals to equals to 48 is false we'll move to the next it is 51 equals to equals to 48 false we'll move to the next it is 33 equals to equals to 48 it is not correct we'll move to the next now it is 64 equals to equals to 48 it is also not matching so now the value of i will reach 9 if the value of i reaches 9 it is array index out of bounds. That means we are outside the array boundary. So whenever the value of i is 9, we can say the match is not found. Because there are only 9 elements in the array starting from index location 0 to 8. So if the index location is not between 0 and 8, there is no match inside the array. So in this case, we will display match not found. So let us do the coding. Start code blocks. Let us create a new file. Let us save it. Let us save it on the desktop as suppose source.c. Let us write a comment. Program to search an item in an array of 10 elements okay so we'll have 10 elements instead of 9 in this program so you have to write the header file hash include std io dot h which is standard input output dot h okay then we'll write int main which is the function that is going to run the C program. And then as it is int main, we will write return 0. So I will declare some variables. Int, first of all array, ARR is the name of the array, suppose. 
10 elements will be there. I will take these 10 elements from the user and then a variable i to run the loop, okay, to specify the index, followed by another variable item that will take the item that is going to be searched inside the array. So, let us take the array from user. So, I will write printf enter double quotes is needed 10 elements backslash n it will come down to the next line and then I will run a for loop for array index starts from 0 that is why i should be set to 0 how many elements we are going to take i should be checked less than that many elements so size of the array is 10 so i is less than 10 so how long it will be less than 10 from 0 to 9 if i count 0 to 9 it is 10 so we will take 10 elements in 10 different index locations starting from 0 to 9 and then each time the loop runs i's value will be incremented by 1 so i plus plus now we can do a scanf because one line can be executed under for loop without any bracket we are not giving any curly braces we will write scanf percent d for taking integer and then comma followed by address of arr is the name of the array and the index location of the element will be the value of i so initially i is 0 we will take the value for the first index location of the array when i is 1 we will take the second value like this we will move up to 9 clear so after this loop executes we have got the array in arr that means 10 elements of the array in arr array now we will display a message to the user to give the item to be searched so printf followed by enter the item to be searched h is missing so this is a message given to the user and the user will definitely respond by giving a number so scan f to take that number it is again integer so percent d and followed by address of item we will take the value in item now we can search this item inside the array so for searching again you have to write a for loop for i equals to 0 because you have to search the item from the first element index location of the first element is 0 so i equals to 0 i is less than 10 the same loop and then each time the loop executes its body i will be incremented by 1 so inside this i can write if arr which is the name of the array of i that is error of 0 the first index location value equals to equals to the item so there is a match if there is a match what we will do we are going to write a message printf the item will put percent d here to display the item so suppose the item is 5 so it will display the item 5 is found at location or index location suppose percent d for displaying the item will display item and for displaying the index we'll have to give the value of i done after we do this we have already searched the item and displayed so we'll take a break break will take me out of the for loop so we'll write break 
Now, if the item is found, there is no problem. You can take a break. But outside this loop, how can I understand the item is not found? Because if it is found, the message is displayed. If it is not found, how to identify it is not found? So remember, if the item is found, the index location of the array could be from 0 to 9. That means the value of i should be 0 to 9, not more than that. So when i becomes 10, that means what? From 0 to 9, there is no match. So here we can write a if condition again. If i is equals to equals to 10, when i becomes 10, then we come out of the loop by failure of the condition because 10 is not less than 10. That means up to 9th index location, there is no match. So we'll write printf. the item percent d is not found in the array okay so for this i have to display the item so variable item stores the value of the item to be searched so now the program is complete we will save it, control S, we will press F9 to run this. So program runs, we will enter 10 elements in the array, suppose we are taking serial numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10. Then if I hit enter, these 10 elements will be stored in the array and then it is asking that enter the item to be searched in that array. So let us check an item that is available. So let us check 6. So it will display the item 6 is found at index location 5. Let us check whether its index location is 5 or not. It is 0 index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the item 6 is available in the array. Done. Let us now again run the program when the item is not found. So let us again give the same values. We can give random values also. I am just giving serial numbers for convenience. Now, if the item to be searched is 0, it is not found in the array. So it must display the message. It is displaying the item 0 is not found in the array because none of the items that are stored in the array is 0. Clear? Now, if we have duplicate values, I have said the first occurrence of the array is going to be displayed. Its position is going to be displayed. So, let us take random elements 15, 24, 33, 51, 48, 64. 81, 93, how many elements we have done? 8, and then 75, and let's see, 44. Uh, is there any repeated element? No, there is no repeated element. So, we will give a repeated element 33. Okay. Now, see, 33 is available in the array in two different locations index location 2 and index location 9. When we search, the first occurrence that matches is at the index location 2. So it will always display that item 33 is found in the array at index location 2, not 9. And then it will terminate. So whenever we search an item, at the first occurrence of the item, the loop terminates. So let us see. See, it is displaying the item 33 is found at the index location 2, which is the first occurrence of 33. Hope you have understood how to search an element in an array. We will meet in the next video with a new program.